Did you see the the funny Marco interview with uh, G Herbo and Southside? Uh uh, no, I hadn't seen it. I just keep I keep reading about it. They broke his thirty thousand dollar watch or something. Was they? Yeah, fighting? they broke his watch. It's kind of like they were. They were playing. They were. They were. Yeah, they were. They were bullying him and joking and. You oh, know. they were. I think it was. I don't. I, I don't know if they're trolling or not. But I mean, he let them. He let them. Uh. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfucker let you do it. Then she, what, what, yeah, you know, how can you say they wrong? Mm. Yeah, yeah, if you let them, you let them, how you can't, how can you say a motherfucker wrong? Uh, a $30,000 watch? That nigga that's going on his way to jail probably would have been, I would have rushed him to jail. Which one of them fit to go to jail? G Herbo? Uh, G Herbo is allegedly going to jail uh, for, you for know fraud. That. I ain't no allegedly. You know that nigga fit to go to jail. Uh, I keep hearing different stories that that is going to be maybe just probation and things like that. I'm not sure. The feds giving probation. I keep hearing different things, man. Like different. I keep hearing different things. I, I don't know the trial or or the sentences coming soon, but I, I'm hearing it's not as bad as that they say on the news. So the feds get you, and they put it on the news, and you say it ain't that bad. Uh, That's what I'm hearing. I don't know yet. Well, let me just say this, Sean. Anytime the feds get you, nigga, it's something bad. Anytime the feds get you. Uh, typically, the feds don't get no nigga no probation mm. unless you got some information to give up. Typically, uh, it don't go from being bad to not so bad unless you done done a little cooperation, right? Mm. They normally don't let a nigga stay out on bond with the feds. And you done been in trouble before? It's your first time in trouble? No. So no, man, they normally don't let you hang loose like this here and you get to go do part. No, they normally don't do that. What about like restitution? Cause he didn't take, it was 140,000 I think. If the feds had to put together a team, cause they don't just get one motherfucker to come get you, they put together a team of people. So we had to get these people together, take it over here to the prosecutor, take it over here to get the indictment. We had to go through a court system and it costs money for us to do this. Man, uh, we don't want just no restitution because the feds ain't about money. They want your ass. When the feds come get you, they don't want no money. They want your ass. The money is just extra. So I'm saying, uh, Maybe y'all should look at his case a little more. Mm. Maybe y'all should look at his case a little more. Because when the Fed come, nigga, they ain't nice and trying to work out no restitution deal unless you got something to tell us. We know you niggas is involved in some and some and some, and now we got you. Tell us something. That's how that go. So, uh, no, if you would have said a state case, yeah. But homie, not a Fed case. Okay? But back to the funny Marco thing. He let them do it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, I hate they done that to him, but he let them. $30,000 watch. Shit, nigga, I'm pressing charges. I mean, they said the interview was smooth until G Herbo came in there. And then G Herbo kind of hyped Southside up. And I haven't watched the full thing yet. I'm, I'm, I'm about to after this. But... Uh, Where's G Herbo from? Chicago? Yeah, he's from Chicago. Uh, he one of them bully niggas. You know them Chicago niggas be bullies. They try to bully everybody. Uh, they don't. They not the kind to get along. Uh, uh, collaborate. They want you to know they from Chicago. They the baddest. Uh, they shot rack ends. Uh, we kill. Uh, nigga, and we. They they don't want you to know they regular people. They come in the bully. They want to intimidate. Uh, and they want to scare you. Uh, they don't want to make friends with people. So why would anybody even invite them people anywhere? Because they come in with the same, all of them come with the same shit. Uh, with the intimidation, bully tactics about the Chiraki and shit. And I'm saying, nigga, uh, it ain't no Ukraine. Uh, it ain't no prison system. 
uh, these states that these states and these cities that these niggas claim to be so bad, they making it in it. So why wouldn't why couldn't nobody else make it in it? And they not the baddest of the baddest. Uh, you don't know if you're really bad till you go to one of them USP maximum security prisons and you're not in your state. That's when you start seeing. That's when you start seeing, nigga. Man, Chicago niggas ain't really that bad when they go to Florida prison. Nigga, when they get when they come to these Texas prisons or uh, federal prison, nigga, Chicago, that shit ain't that tough down here. Man, when you go to D.C., them California niggas, that shit ain't strong over there. But you don't know that because you don't get to go nowhere. So from my observation, homie, they, they like the California niggas. They try to bully everywhere they go. So when you encounter them kind of niggas, uh, you got to know how to respond to them. Uh, and Funny Marco, uh, you know, he ain't the, he ain't the street kind of fighting kind of guy. He's a funny man. Funny Marco. So, uh, yeah, yeah, homie, you know, any, any given good content, uh, he just created a new show. So he ain't the kind of nigga to, to, to flip out and spaz out. I'm the kind of nigga to flip out and spaz out over that $30,000 watch that you nigga done broke, nigga. Uh, and I so feel that like would, you picking on That wouldn't on have worked me. on Charleston. Man, I feel like you picking on me. Yeah, if you go to talk, talking to me how bad your city and your town is, and y'all ain't never killed no white man in y'all town, I feel like you picking on me, my nigga. How y'all bad? And y'all just kill niggas. How y'all this and how y'all that? When the police say freeze, you niggas freeze. When the judge bailiff say all rise, all rise. How you niggas bad? So, nah, homie, so when a nigga go to talking like that to me, I go to feel like a nigga picking on me, my nigga. Because, nigga, we all in America. And, nigga, I done grew up in America all my life. I ain't never seen you niggas head but a white person. You nigga won't even say, you nigga won't even say nothing mean to the Jewish people. So how y'all bad? And them motherfucking me Palestinians tearing up shit over there. Them some bad motherfuckers now. We ain't bad. 